All right, you guys, so like, share, subscribe. Ring that notification bell so you guys get all the updates whenever we release video content on the channel. Shouts out to the Lions Den community. Salute to my brother, A Weapons. He repping life music. Make sure y'all follow us on social media, on our Instagram. Also, make sure that you guys check out our Facebook channel, uh, facebook.com backslash ticket TV. All these links are going to be in the description box below. You guys can also catch our podcast show. Make sure y'all subscribe to our podcast show. We'll have all the hidden content that you guys didn't see from our podcast show. Uh, so all of the links will be pinned below. Salute to everybody who donates to the stream. And we're going to get ready to get started with this stream today. Now, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Much love, honor, respect, and appreciation. Man, as I woke up this morning, man, and I've seen more things coming forth, it just put me in a mindset, man, where I really see now that um, when it rains, it most definitely pours, ladies and gentlemen. And with in the P. Diddy uh, situation, uh, this is definitely a thunderstorm going on right now. Uh, in his life. Uh, for you guys who don't know what's going on, salute to everybody that's watching the video. It's locked in again, man. Um, appreciate all you guys who have subscribed to the podcast show. Uh, if y'all haven't, the link will be pinned at the top again. We are over 2,500 subs going to 3,000. So help me get to 3,000 subs on the podcast. All y'all got to do is click the link. It says subscribe to the podcast. Make sure y'all do that. We'll talk about, we're going to talk about all these things more in depth on the podcast too. So make sure y'all stay locked in. But um, Diddy, uh, who's already been facing multiple allegations, um, which is unbelievable, man. Just wow, bro. Yeah, I mean, everything that's coming down and the fact that more things are coming out now. As you guys know, Torre, who uh, you guys have seen a lot on the news in the past. Uh, he used to have a show on, I think it was MSNBC, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, somebody tell me in the comments. But Torre yesterday went on last night, went on national TV and basically has outed P. Diddy. Um, now, Torre went on national TV and basically stated that he had a family member who uh, he went to Puff to, he said he basically knew Puff uh, enough to where he had a relationship with Puff to where he could ask Puff or talk to Puff. So he said he talked to Puff <clears throat> and asked Puff to allow one of his family members to have an internship with him. And Puff agreed and was like, yeah, cool. You know, you got, you, we can do that. And so he says that his family member had the internship with Puff and that, uh, after three or four months, the internship suddenly stopped. And he said he asked his family member, well, what happened? Why did you stop the internship? And said the family member refused to say, didn't want to speak about it, refused to say it for years. And he said years later, he said the family member told him that uh, P. Diddy told him or told the family member, excuse me, that if you don't come over and sleep over in my house, this internship is over with if you don't come spend the night with me. And Torrey said his family member said no, hell no, and said that the internship ended immediately. And Torrey then revealed that the family member was a man. He said the family member was a man and he said that he alleges that P. Diddy told the man to come spend the night uh, at my house, allegedly, or the internship is over with. And he said his family member said no. And the internship ended. He said the family member felt so ashamed, I guess, or bad about the situation <clears throat> that he refused to tell anybody <clears throat> why the internship ended after three or four months. <clears throat> and, you know, that's that. I want to say something. Well, I don't look at race 
ethnicity, creed, none of this stuff when I talk about these stories. You understand what I'm saying? Right is right and wrong is wrong. You feel me? Uh, <clears throat> us as a people got to get past that bullshit, man. I don't like to cuss this much on this, on this channel, but we got to get past that, man. Right is right and wrong is wrong, man. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people try to use this card online like, oh, y'all trying to tear down a black man. Man, shut up, man. If you put yourself in positions to this type of stuff that happens, it doesn't matter what color you are. Everybody should get dealt with the same way, same consequences. Am I upset that the media don't keep the same energy all the way across the board with all these other people that are facing allegations? You daggone right I'm upset about that because it's not right. It ain't. And we, we will call that out on this channel and we have called that out repeatedly on this channel. That doesn't that doesn't dismiss these allegations against P. Diddy, man. It doesn't, bro. When you have so many different people coming out with different allegations and different stories against this man, bro, everybody can't be lying. Everybody can't be making up stuff, man. I saw yesterday uh, a lot of people going off on Slim Thug. I mean, they was upset with Thugger. Because Slim Thug came out, and I'm a fan of Slim Thug. I'm gonna put that out there right now. I, I, I grew up with his music, so I'm a fan of Slim Thug. But <clears throat> he is getting destroyed online right now because he basically was defending Diddy, saying that you know they're trying to tear down this billionaire. Right? You guys can go look it up. He's online on the internet, on YouTube right now. I ain't going crazy on Slim Thug. You know what I'm saying? Saying that they turned down another uh, another one of our billionaires and this, that, and the third. And, you know, he's just saying a lot of stuff basically that, you know. And the thing is, is that this, people saying, bro, you don't even care about people's lives, livelihoods, things that they are saying that they went through. What if that was your daughter or your son or somebody true? Would you care about if they was a billionaire or a millionaire or a trillionaire? No. You would care about your daughter. And I, and I had to really... Think about it like that. If that was your family member, your your daughter, your son, your father, your mother, your aunt, somebody who was working for a guy like this that dealt with that type of stuff like that. You understand what I'm saying? And so Torrey coming on TV last night and saying what he said. You know what I'm saying? I, I was just like, dang, man. He said that he asked Puff to do him a favor and to give his family member an internship. He said that the P. Diddy was like, cool, I'll do it. He said after three or four months, P. Diddy allegedly went to his family member and said that if you don't come spend the night at my house, the internship is over with. Right now, it's over with. He said the family member who was a man said hell no, and the internship ended. The family member was so ashamed, he didn't want to say anything to anybody for years. And Torre said years later, the family member told him, years later, the family member told him why the internship with Puff ended. And he said now to hear all these other allegations where things went further uh, in other allegations made him say what he's saying now on TV because he didn't know all of this stuff was going on. And I'm just here to tell y'all, man, bro, listen, we can't be looking at some celebrities and putting them on different pedestals because they got money. I don't care about that, man. At the end of the day, when you when you leave this world, bro, you can't take none of that stuff with you. None of them, none of this stuff you can take with you. They can try to put it in your casket, don't matter, it ain't going nowhere with you. Once your soul leaves this earth, it's a wrap. You strip of all your worldly things. And I think people put dudes and people on pedestals and forget. They're human beings just like us, man. They just in a situation where they got a lot of money. And in and, and this world, if you have a lot of money, that gives you a lot of power. But that doesn't mean that you should be able to do things to people and disrespect people, allegedly, and get away with it. And that's all the way across the board. That ain't just with Puff. That's all the way across the board. When you have allegations against Vince McMahon, you have allegations against 
uh, 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 James Dolan. You have allegations that were against pe people. People in the NBA, they say they're still investigating the Josh Giddy situation, right? But the parents refuse to, uh, you know, prosecute or seek prosecution or even cooperate with the police in that situation. Right? And see, I'm going to tell you something, right? Ivor Wilson says it be your own people that tear you down. Nah, sometimes it be your own people that tear you down. Let me tell you something, lady. Sometimes it be your own people that tear you down. Sometimes it be your own people that take advantage of you. Sometimes it be your own people who shit on you, lady. Sometimes it be your own people who don't respect you. Sometimes it be your own people that use you. Sometimes it be your own people that lie to you. Sometimes it be your own people that disrespect you. So I want to hear that. Well, he ain't had nothing popping. Sit down somewhere and just listen to the story. Because it's foolishness. It's foolishness. The hell, I don't know what's going on in this world. But it's a world full of sin. And foolishness. And you got people out here that's willing to step up and speak out and speak. They're brave enough to come out and speak their story because they feel like the coast is clear. Because they're afraid because people got money and power. But you're going to come out here and say that foolishness on my channel. That's foolishness. What if that was your uncle? What if that was your father? What if that was your son? Miss Lady, would you feel the same way? Torrey said that was his family member. And the reason why he's speaking out on it now is because he's hearing about all the other people who are alleging that things went further with Puff. But his family member had the wherewithal, according to Torrey, to not accept the advances. And see, people will say all of this stuff until it's their family member. How would you feel if something like that, your family member made these type of accusations against somebody? And you know why a lot of people don't never come out and say nothing? Because of people like you, Eva Wilson. Because they feel like people won't care. They'll demonize them. They'll talk down on them. They'll say you capping, you cloud chasing. And they'll try to tear these people lives to shreds. And so it's people that say stuff like what you're saying, Ms. Wilson, that are the reason why other people are afraid, afraid, afraid. And nobody want to hear about some media will have you hating the oppressed. No, if you oppressing your own people, if you're oppressing your own people, that's on you. If you're oppressing your own people, that's on you. All I hear is a lot of excuses. Because see, if this was your family member and you went out and you told the truth about something and nobody wanted to listen to you and they all demonized you and said you was captain for a millionaire or a billionaire, how would you feel? And y'all wonder why people don't come out and say stuff off the rip. They say, oh man, why you didn't say that a long time ago? You know why? Because people out here that demonize you and will talk down on you. That's why. They'll talk this fake talk with you. That's why. None of that stuff matters, Eva Wilson, about when he started talking about this and talking about that. None of it matters. None of that stuff matters. He had all these allegations against him, point blank period. 
doesn't matter when or where. Y'all want to pick, oh, man, this didn't, so y'all want to make it about race. It ain't about race. Because guess why it ain't about race? Because you got the other side in prison, too, for the same thing. Old dude that had the island, guess what? He was in prison when he passed away. He went out here walking the streets. Where's Harvey Weinstein at right now? Is he walking around in the streets? So don't tell me, oh man, this is because uh, it's about a brother. No, they coming out to everybody. That me too ain't missing nobody. Let me repeat myself again. That me too ain't missing nobody. So don't get it twisted. It's some dudes that have been able to avoid media scrutiny as much as others. That's the problem we have. But you ain't finna come in here and make no excuses and demonize a dude when this man, he came out and told you why he's saying his story now. Because he didn't know it was going this far, allegedly. Right? <clears throat> Excuse me, Stanley. Um, you saying people making false allegations. Let me ask you a question. <clears throat> you think that all of these people, let me ask you a question, right? You said people are making false allegations to get paid. You think Gene Deal been out here making all these allegations all these years but never sued Puff? He ain't never sued P. Diddy. Gene Deal's been out here talking out on Puff for God daggone almost, I want to say, over a decade. He ain't never filed a lawsuit against Puff. So was it about the money? Was it about the money, sir? Was it about the money? Wasn't about the money. So you got all these people. You already know, AK. It's almost a man alive for money. Is, 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 is it about the money? Torrey just went on national TV and talked about his family member. Was that about money? Did he say, yeah, and we filed a lawsuit? Did he say that? This world is filled with sin, man. It's filled with sin, bro. It's filled with sin, man. And it's filled with a bunch of apologists, bro. They don't have no respect for apologists, bro. I can understand if it was one or two people and maybe, you know what I'm saying? Uh, man, you got over, bro, they say they got over 12 vote lawsuits coming, allegedly. I was reading on the thing today. They saying that Cuba, the FBI agent was saying Cuba Gooden Jr. could be charged with all this. From the lawsuit with High Rod, allegedly, he could potentially be charged. I was listening to that on the Law and Crime channel. This man out here naming names, putting up photos. You you think that Cassie is gonna go up there? Cassie know a lot. Cassie know a lot. You think Cassie's gonna go lie to the feds and say that she did this or she did that? For this dude and lie on herself and put herself in a situation to where she lied under the penalty of perjury and you'd be put in prison for years upon years. You really think that? Make it make sense. You got people, and this is why I told y'all, we got idol worshipers in this world, bro. I watch it in basketball and I watch it in real life. People are idol worshipers. They worship idols. They make people idols. And, and then you don't want to believe that this person could be capable of doing anything hard. So you turn a blind eye. Because money brings forth power. Power brings forth fear. So now anybody that says something that goes against that money. You're in trouble. I watched the same thing going on in basketball. You at the top of the food chain, you get away with doing whatever you want to do. And everybody else got to take it. But here's the thing. This is real life right here. This ain't no game. 
So now Torrey comes on national TV, national TV, and says on national TV, last night, Torrey says that I went to Puff. I had a relationship with Puff good enough to where I went to Puff and I asked him if he could do me a favor. And I said, Puff, can you get my family member an internship? And Puff said, yeah, I'll do it. And he said, after those three, the first three to four months, the internship was over with. And he asked his friend, what happened? Why did you stop the internship with Puff? And he said his friend didn't want to tell him, was ashamed to tell him all these years. And he said years later, his friend finally came and told him that the internship ended because Puff allegedly told him, if you don't come spend the night at my house, the internship is over. He refused to spend the night at P. Diddy's house and the internship was over with. That is what Torrey said that his family member told him. And he said he felt devastated about it. And it, do, and it was a man. You don't have to listen to me. Go look on Torrey's on national TV last night said this. And you guys set yourselves up for failure saying this foolishness because I'm going to tell y'all what's going to happen. Everybody that's listening to this video, I'm going to tell y'all what's going to happen. I was watching the FBI is going to come with major charges against Puff. From what I'm hearing. From what they tell them on TV, they're saying that the FBI is gearing up to come forward with a major indictment on Puff. So now what does that mean, ladies and gentlemen? You know what that means? You guys know what that means? That means everything's going to end up coming out that they got. They're going to swing the whole fence at this dude. That means y'all going to hear testimony, people going on trial, people going on stand, all of this stuff, right? And the things you don't want to believe about certain people. And people will say, oh, no, nah, that person couldn't do that, man. You don't know that person. If you wasn't with them every day, you never know who's capable of what. Unless you're with them every day. So when people talk down and trash Gene Deal and said Gene Deal was lying, how the hell are you going to say Gene Deal lying when Gene Deal was with the man every day? You wasn't. you just a spectator. But you're going to tell a dude who was with a man every single day. What the hell is you asking me about T.D. Jakes for? You don't see the feds kicking in T.D. Jakes' door. They do a whole lot of rumors online. Right? And people run with that foolishness until them lawsuits come. But you didn't hear T.D. Jakes' name in none of them lawsuits. You didn't hear T.D. Jakes' name in none of these fed raids. So ain't nothing about T.D. Jakes until otherwise. Until you hear somebody bring some charges against T.D. Jakes, it ain't nothing to talk about, sir. Except for a bunch of foolishness. Once you see people start coming out here and making these accusations against Puff, filing lawsuits, and also saying on open platforms that they're willing to testify against this man, this man had people that work close with him every day coming on open testimony, talking about things that they regret that happened when they were with this guy. Everybody lying, right? So Mark Curry lying, Gene Deal lying, Cassie lying, Torrey lying, Lil Ride lying, all the people lying, everybody lying. They're trying to tear down a black man ticket. They're trying to tear down Puff, man. Everybody lying, man. Right? Make it make sense. Make it make sense. P. Diddy say they all lying. But P. Diddy ain't sued none of them for slander. He just paid settlement. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. P. Diddy ain't sued none of them people to my thought right now. To my knowledge, he haven't sued none of those people. If he if P. Diddy was innocent, 
or if you thought that PD was innocent in your mind, you think he'd have paid Cassie less than one day? Or you think P. Diddy would have fought that? You think all those other people that's making allegations against P. Diddy would have been walking? Or you think he'd have filed lawsuits, you know, sort of like the NFL quarterback did and like Michael Irvin did when the woman made allegations against him, he came out, stood on his name. He said, no, you a lie, and I'm suing your ass for $100 million. I'm suing the hotel. Dak Prescott, this woman came against him. He said, nope, you a lie. I'm suing you for $100 million for defamation of character. Where's the defamation lawsuits from Diddy? Because I know one thing. If I ain't do nothing to you, I ain't paying you no damn settlement. If I truly didn't do nothing, I'm not paying no settlement. The hell wrong with you? No way, no how. But again, Kathy was with the man for a long time. So if you the feds and you talk to Kathy, man, you know how much information Kathy could probably get him about things that she allegedly seen? Things she may know about the structure of the houses and stuff like this. When y'all talk about them raids, oh, they didn't know this and they didn't know that. How the hell you know what they know? You don't know what Cassie knew. Ninjas be slipping. They can tell ladies everything that they really be with. If that's really your chick, she might know a lot about what you got going on in your house. Because you didn't know it was going to end the way it ended. So now she turns state or she turns fed and gives them all the information on everything you got going on, all your layout, how everything moves, all of this stuff. And to the person who said he better stay out of the country, nope. Saw it on law and crime last night. FBI agent, former FBI agent said Homeland Security has been working to make sure that nobody escapes to any of the other countries. Y'all need to do y'all homework. To the brother who said what Torre said, I I'm going to say it again for you, brother. Torre went on national TV last night, and Torre said that he went to Puff years ago and asked Puff for a favor, asked Puff to give one of his family members an internship. He said Puff said he would do it, and he said Puff gave his family member the internship, and he said three to four months later, the internship was over with. He didn't know why and what happened, why the internship ended. He asked his family member. The family member refused to tell him at that time. He said years later, the family member came and told him the internship was over with because P. Diddy told him if he didn't come sleep over at his house, that the internship was over. And so he said as soon as he told P. Diddy he refused to go sleep over at his house, he said the internship was over with. And he said that the family member was a man. Torrey said it on national TV last night. On national TV in an interview he did last night. And he said the reason why he's speaking about it now is because he heard he's hearing all the allegations of other people that's making allegations of situations that went to further extents. And he said that he's happy that his family member situation didn't go to a further extent. It ended once his family member said no. But y'all come on, you got people coming here talking about, oh, yeah, Torre ain't been popping. What he doing? What's wrong with people, man? What's wrong with people, bro? And see, one day, it's all, everything in life comes back around full circle. One day, something's going to happen to one of y'all. And I'm talking about, you're going to wish people would listen to you and really think you was telling the truth. And people are going to ignore you. And they're going to demonize you. And they're going to treat you like you ain't nobody. And it's going to be sad. I'm telling y'all this. All of y'all people that sit up here and want to just tear down anybody. And like I said, we have situations where we've seen brothers get lied on. We've seen brothers get done wrong. But you're not going to tell me that this dude got people that was with him every single day. That's just, that's lying. Now, whether or not you want to say, hey, man, some of those people may have been complicit. Y'all was with them all the time. Now y'all want to turn on this and third. Okay, cool. No problem. I understand that part. But does that make what they're saying lies? Does that make what they're saying he did right or wrong? If he allegedly did these things, that's somebody's daughter, bro. That's somebody's daughter, brother. And see, you always got to think about what if that was your daughter? 
And I always live by the motto, treat people how you want them to treat you. If, 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 if bro, y'all just don't understand. Y'all just don't understand. As a parent, how would you feel if that was your daughter tied up in this situation and people were saying, oh, you capping, you cloud chasing. We don't believe you. You trying to tear down a millionaire. You're like, man, I don't give a damn. I don't care about this millionaire. That's my daughter. See what I'm saying? So Cassie and all these people are going to lie about everything in their lawsuits. Lie about setups. Lie about allegedly carrying weapons for the lying about all this stuff they just lied about everything put and then they're gonna lie to the feds put themselves in a line of fire to be in prison for damn near the rest of their lives just to lie on puff make it make sense the fbi is gonna go kick down puff's door raid his homes all this other stuff because of a lie because somebody lied you think the FBI that stupid? They got like a 95% conviction rate. They come for you, bro. They coming for you. They ain't just playing with you, bro. You know what you have to have to have an FBI warrant for the feds to come kick in your door? And then I had one fool going to tell me, hey, man, take it. The feds and the FBI, that's different. No, it's not you, man, bro. Y'all got to know. Y'all don't know anything, bro. The feds is the FBI. It's the Federal Bureau of Investigation, man. The feds. What's wrong with you guys? We call them the alphabet boys. The FBI, the DEA, the HSI. They the alphabet boys. What's wrong with people? Educate yourselves. Educate yourselves. To the brother Dwayne Price, I'm not saying none of that because they haven't said anything. So you can't say they're going out there, it's going out there. They haven't said anything. Can't you can't say that. There's other there's many other people with allegations. You haven't seen them went after those people. They're specifically going after P. Diddy for alleged, you know what? They're saying they're they're using the trafficking word. And they felt like they had enough probable cause of evidence to get a case or a conviction to go kick in this door. Y'all just think that the FBI is going to walk in, kick in P. Diddy's door, go through all his homes, and they, they don't got a wiffle ball back? Come on, man. They ain't got, they ain't got no evidence. They ain't got nothing. That they just going to go kick in a man's door based off of a, a, a word of mouth, a thought. Get out of here, bro. The feds put on investigations for years, brother. For years, they put on investigations. So if you think this investigation just started, you out of your mind. If you think this investigation just started, you're out of your mind. The feds be watching people for years, bro. That's how they build cases. You guys ever watched The Wire? That wasn't even the feds. That was local. That was state police. And they was building cases, drug cases on dudes for years. Right? How do y'all think the FBI, the feds work? The feds, they, make, they get you in the web to where you can't get out. Because they're not finna waste all this money and all this time and come for you if they're not finna get you. I don't think people understand that. So the only reason why, the only thing people are gonna see is, is when it goes to court, if it goes to court, which is what most of the, I heard the FBI agent say last night, that they're pretty sure that they're gonna come with charges next on Puff. So when it goes to court, Allegedly, now y'all gonna see all of the stuff they got. And now what are people gonna say? When you see all these witnesses and all the people they got. What are they gonna say? I'm just telling y'all what it is. 
and you're going to see people distance themselves from the situation. Yep. Because a lot of people are going to get named in those, in this, in this case. I guarantee you. People are going to get named in this case in court, in court. People that we all know are going to get named. People, they out here snitching, y'all. And when I mean snitching, I'm not talking about like, I'm, I'm saying they out here telling their story. Let me put it like that, because they're not streets. Uh, they're, not, they're, not, they're not in the streets. So they're out here giving up information. And when you do that, they don't care about no celebrities. They get out here giving real names. Oh, this person was there. That person was there. They saw this. They witnessed this. Now, guess what? You may get subpoenaed. You may get subpoenaed. And now you got to go to court and testify under the penalty of perjury in front of the feds. Right? Make it make sense. So again, you never know what these people got. You never know what they got. And we live in a whole new era. In this era, we live in the in the in the era of the 90s, things didn't move like this. Now they have what they call a Me Too movement. And that movement is strong. Real talk. Now, sometimes people could be lying. And I'm in agreement with that. But I'm a person, I take it by a case-by-case -case standard of how I feel about the situation. I can't just come around saying everybody lying. That's not right. I'm not respecting somebody's daughter. I'm not respecting somebody's son. I'm not respecting somebody's mother. I'm not respecting somebody's father if I'm just coming out calling the people liars or ignoring them. What type of leader am I if I'm ignoring people who are crying for help? <clears throat> who are claiming they being mistreated or were mistreated? How am I as a man, as a leader in life? See, we got a lot of followers, but we have few leaders. It take a real man to be a leader. You understand what I'm saying? It take a real man to be a leader in life. And to stand up and say, oh, hold on, man. If this if this happened, it's not right. Because that easily could have been your daughter. That easily could have been your son. Right? I'm telling y'all this. Then you got his neighbors uh going to the news, talking about they seen busloads of people going to his house three o'clock in the morning. Of chicks and all this other stuff. Make it make sense. Make it make sense, bro. But we're gonna sit up here and tell them, oh man, uh they trying to tear our black billionaires down. Are they doing that or are these guys doing it to themselves? When you get in those type of positions, it's called responsibility. When you get the bag, it's on you not to fumble it. I know some people when they get the bag, man, they hey man, bro, they act like they they bro, they act like they can come. Like it ain't nothing that can come against them. Right? I told y'all this. You had a dude that got elected that was on tape. Now I want y'all to think about this, right? He was on tape saying, I grab him by the you know what's. This is how insensitive this world is. You got a dude that got elected that was on tape that said, I grab him by the you know what. On tape. No question about it on tape. And then he said, oh, that's locker room talk. <laughs> that's what he said. And they still voted for him. Because people didn't care. It, did, it wasn't their kids. It wasn't their, their daughter. It wasn't their family member. They didn't care. You, people only care when this happens to them. You see somebody else get robbed, ah, you move on with your day, whatever it is, what it is. But when it happens to you, you want the whole world to care about what happened to you.
It's called morals. It's called ethics, man. You understand what I'm saying? Forget all this trying to put color into it and stuff like that, bro. If we see hypocrisy, we call it out as we see it. But I'm not finna come say, oh, yeah, you know, Torrey, man, he ain't been popping. Look at him, man. He ain't, nah, man, that's not right. He ain't asking for no bread. He ain't saying he filed a lawsuit. He said exactly why he spoke on this. Because he's seeing that there was allegations that people allegedly dealt with way more and went further. He's happy that his family member got out of the situation. You think Tory would go on national TV and say that, knowing that Puff could sue him? Why ain't Puff filed a lawsuit against him right now for slander? For him going on national TV saying that his friend told him that P. Diddy fired him because he refused to sleep over at his house. So P. Diddy fired him. Make it make sense. I told y'all, this is how it goes all across the board. Bro, I see this in basketball all the time. If you are the top guy in the league, you the star guy, you the money maker in the league, you get away with anything you want. And, and people will praise you. And they will act like you. Same thing in, in boxing. Same thing in basketball. Same thing in boxing. When you're at the top of the sport, bro, people will man, bro. And you the money man, bro, same thing in basketball. Y'all see it. I've watched people idolize these cats. I've watched them. You understand what I'm saying? I've seen people have more respect for celebrities than they do their own parents. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. Straight up. Straight up. Right? What? My fucker always trying to call a nigga during the show. It's crazy. And so I'm just letting y'all know what's up, man. Y'all can sit in here and y'all can lie to y'all selves about this stuff, man. Guess what? Everybody ain't lying. That's all I'm saying, bro. And that thing is going to go. It's going to go. It's going to go. I think it's going to Me personally, I believe it's going to trial. And I believe this will be the biggest trial in the history because I think they're going to throw everything. I think everything's going to come up. I think all, all the stuff is going to come up from the past. I think everything's going to come up. You know? Because <clears throat> remember, all the people that was around at that time and it was only a couple people that got out. A couple people that got out, but most of them people are not here no more. Or they're in prison. And, and so now that you have all of these new things going on, you guys have seen certain people have not said anything. It makes you think. You know? Remember, Gene Deal told all the dialogue. He said he's willing to go on a stand and testify what he knows. You ain't seen Gene Dill on YouTube since this raid was announced. And Gene Dill always be on YouTube. Anything after happened with P. Diddy, Gene Dill be on live. Gene Dill have not been on since the raid. <clears throat> and they on his last video on his channel asking where, where he at, what's up with him. <clears throat> you haven't heard from Cassie. You haven't. <clears throat> you haven't. Um, you said Torre was accused of doing something. Hey, he may have been, right? <clears throat> but does that take away what he's saying about uh, Puff as being true or false? Th does that does does that do it? <clears throat> See, you guys like the de deflection tactics, right? You guys like deflection tactics, right? Right? That's what y'all like. But what kind of deflection tactics you gonna use when these people get on them stands and start bringing forth information and the feds who have built the case for years start bringing forth evidence allegedly 
Because that's what's going to happen if they go to trial. You think the feds going to go to trial without no evidence? And guess what? I heard the FBI agent say last night on law and crime. They said, man, they said because of the allegations to multiple people, you may not be able to use DNA. Guess what? That's when witness testimony comes in. And people who are eyewitnesses can come testify. Think about that now. Think about that. All right? Y'all got to peep this game, man. Y'all got to peep this game, man. You know what I mean? I'm just telling y'all what it is. I'm going to be honest with y'all, bro. This situation, this going to be the biggest case that y'all ever seen. I believe that, bro. And I think that it should be more after this. I believe that they should investigate more into the allegations against Vince McMahon. Them allegations were sick. I believe they should investigate more into the allegations against James Dolan. I believe this. When people make them type of allegations, bro, I believe they should because that's somebody's daughter. Shout out to TJ, the new member to the uh, to the podcast show. Make sure y'all click that link too. And join the podcast, y'all. All you got to do is click that link and subscribe to my podcast right there in the comment section. We almost had 3,000 subscribers on my, on my podcast. So make sure y'all do that and be a part of Black Excellence, man, and truth telling. Because, see, I don't live, I don't like to live in, 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 within a lie. Because, see, when you live, when you living within a lie, you got to tell another lie to cover up for the first lie. To keep, and then you just keep lying to keep the lies going. Nah, man. At some point in time, you got to live your truth, man. At some point in time. Again, y'all think the feds is just out here playing games, sending 40 to 50 people in one house at a time, wasting people's money for nothing? Y'all really think that? Y'all really don't think they've been building the case this whole time? You don't know how long the feds been watching people. You don't. Feds could be watching you for two or three years. They could have been tipped off on you by a neighbor, anybody. And they could have just been watching the whole time. You never know who they could have been talking to, what witnesses they could have called in and spoke to. People think just because they went in the house the day before yesterday that just started the day before yesterday. You don't know when it started and you don't know who else they investigate. We don't. We talk about how the media doesn't cover the stories the same. We don't know who the hell the FBI until they go hit you. We don't know who they investigate. So we really can't say, hey, man, they ain't doing nothing because you don't know. Sometimes it's harder to build other cases than it is other cases. But I know one thing when the FBI wants to build a case, they're not building a case to play to, for the play games. You think they build? You think the FBI out here building a case just to play games? Man, get out of here, man! I seen people saying on, on my channel yesterday, "Hey, man, the FBI they ain't got nothing to get." Man, are you out of your mind? They had to have something to go in the house, brother. They had to have something to go in the house. You know what they trying to do? Make sure that the win is guaranteed. The only thing they're doing is is putting Kevin Durant on the Golden State Warriors. They guaranteeing a championship. That's all they're doing. They already know they can win the chip as is. They already know they can win the chip as is. But they said, you know what? We're going to go put KD on our prime like he was in the Warriors just to make sure we win. So, yeah, we're going to go in here and get this stuff too. Right? Make it make sense. Then y'all don't think about these other things. Here's the other things y'all have to think about. All these things that FBI, that's why I said people don't be using their brains. Phone records. All of these things. Y'all don't think that Cassie could have talked to the police and said, here's my proof of what of the allegations I'm making? You don't think she could have talked to the federal agents and gave over her phone records and statements? All these things have to be presented in lawsuits. You ain't going to just sue people for that amount of money without no evidence, ladies and gentlemen. When you file a lawsuit, you have to have evidence because in a lawsuit, ladies and gentlemen, it comes a thing called discovery. 
It ain't just I I make allegations, I sue you, and I win for nothing. It's not. It don't work like that. When you sue somebody, it has to be discovery. That means you have to be. You can be investigated. That means you have to bring forth evidence and proof of your claims. And you have to prove the other person was liable or responsible. Which is why in the little Rod Hot uh, lawsuit, he has presented video and photo evidence in his lawsuit. Did you see Cassie's lawsuit? You don't think Cassie's going to sit up there and give the FBI and all these people text messages that she probably kept over the years? You never know what he may have said in them text messages. You don't know what he may have said in those voice messages that the feds have all listened to. You don't know how he could have. And when you go to court, everybody's sitting over here capping for billionaires. But then when you go to court and they play that in court. And everybody's sitting there like, damn, dog, I ain't know it was that real. Then what you going to say? Cassie's lawyer said she's willing to cooperate. You don't think they've been talking to Cassie? You don't think that Cassie may have given them most of the case she lived with the man and was with the man for years puff is innocent until proven guilty but i'm telling you you don't know what cassie was doing you don't think that cassie could have and listen i'm gonna tell y'all something man things you send women they uh, most women never delete that stuff man it's always going to be in the records. Even when you think you delete it from your phone, the phone company is still can have records of this stuff, man. Straight up. So if you saying something on a text or saying something on a voice message, I'm just telling y'all right now, bro. You guys got to think about all of those things. Right? I'm just telling y'all this, man. It's going to get ugly, man. I promise y'all. When they go to trial, y'all going to start seeing witnesses being called. It's going to be it, it's going to be celebrities, all kind of stuff being called as witnesses. They, they against they will. They're going to be subpoenaed. Against they will, they're going to be subpoenaed. If you're a celebrity and you don't want to be called, you better get out the country. If you're a celebrity and you may have had been around and you don't want to get subpoenaed, you better get your ass out the country so you can't get subpoenaed. Because they will subpoena your ass. I'm telling y'all this. But people don't understand all of these things, bro. I understand all these things, right? All of this stuff is going to come out, man. And I I guarantee you the FBI, they probably got, and they ha they're going to build, I guarantee you the FBI built their case around witnesses. Bro, listen, it ain't, bro, you have people on YouTube telling a story for free. You have people on YouTube telling their story for free. You don't think that the FBI is going to take advantage. They make the FBI's job easier. That's making the FBI's job so easy. YouTube and people who have went on YouTube and done interviews and laid out all of this stuff on interviews. All the FBI got to do is start calling these people up. Hey, come on, come on down. Now, this stuff you were saying online about these bottles and stuff like that, uh, we need you to explain what's going on. Because you could be implicated because you put yourself there.
Then what? Huh? Make it make sense. Make it make sense. So, like I said, you never know what celebrity. Anybody that could have been around Puff who somebody else accused them. Think, I want y'all to think about this stuff. So you don't know if Kathy, Gene Deal, all these people talk to the feds. So you don't know what other names may have been come up. Like they may have said, oh, who was here? Who was there when this happened? Who was there? You don't know what names they may have put out there that the feds have that they are preparing to subpoena to come testify in these situations. And the feds will tell you at the last minute so you can't be prepared. Think about all these things I'm telling y'all. Think about everything I'm telling y'all. This is what they do. This is what they do. And I'm just being honest with everybody that's watching this video, man. And I think that's something that we all have to pay attention to. You know what I'm saying? In all seriousness, I think we all got to pay attention to it. Real talk. You got to be smart, man. You got to be smart, man. I think it's going to be a lot of people we see that flip in this situation on P. Diddy, man. You know what I'm saying? They ain't going to be able to handle that pressure of the feds. Bro, I'm telling y'all this, man. This shit is bigger than the Carter. I'm telling y'all. And sometimes, I'm going to be honest with y'all, man. It takes something like this for everybody else to get their act together. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I'm going to be honest with y'all, man. I don't worship no man on this earth. None. You know what I'm saying? I don't worship no man. I don't worship money. I don't worship any of that stuff. That money don't make me feel shit. Real talk. You can have all the money in the world and not be real, not be solid, not be honorable, not be respectful. A lot of people, they worship money. They worship position. They worship power. You understand what I'm saying? And that's the problem that you guys don't understand. And y'all demonize everybody else that may try to come against that. Right? And I'm going to say it again. I said this yesterday. Y'all want everything happens for a reason, bro. Cat Williams did that interview on Shannon Sharp. That interview Cat Williams did set the whole entire year off, y'all. That interview set the whole year off. Nobody knew that interview was destined to happen, bro. That man said 2024 is a year of exposure. And I'll be damned as we sit here today. I'll be damned as we sit here today. Man. And everybody was wondering, why did that interview go viral on Shannon Sharp? And as soon as that interview went viral, look how many industry people came out against Shannon Sharp. Instantly. Popping their hands out, going against this man. Think about it. Cat started showing a real hand. Think about it. No other interview went that far this year. No other interview. But that kicked the year off. That set the tone for the year. And now y'all start to see all of these things come out. All these different allegations come out against Cats. Y'all seeing it. Right? And I'm just telling y'all, man. I'm just telling y'all, man. Right? But this is going to be the biggest. This right here is going to be the biggest ever. This is going to be the biggest ever, bro. Because of how big Puff is. Because he's a brother. And because of you know, how big of an empire he has built over the years. This is going to be the biggest trial. I thought OJ was the biggest trial. This is going to be the new trial of the century. This right here, bro. Uh, if, it goes, if, if, if it goes to trial, which the FBI agent 
on the law and crime say last night that they 100% have no doubt that this is going, they're going to come with charges soon. So I don't know, man. Like I said before, bro, Torrey said what he said, bro. I, I just said, but I couldn't believe it, man. I couldn't believe it, man. Hey, shout out to the brother Jacob in the cash app, man. He came through $50 donation this morning, man. He said, you right, ticket, a bunch of idol worshipers, man. I'm just trying to tell you, bro. Trying to tell you, man. You already know what it is, man. Shout out to the brother G-Main in the cash app. I ain't even see y'all cash apps, my bad. Shout out to the brother G-Main in the cash app with the donation. He said everything getting revealed. Hey, man. Anything you do in the dark, man. I'm just saying, brother. I'm just saying, man. You know? And it's all over. It's going to be all over. You know? And people, you got to stop throwing other people's names in it that we don't. I'm going to say this right now. If if people have not publicly been, been accused of something, or we got to stop throwing other people's names in this stuff, man. Uh, unless you are somebody who have a public complaint or had, had came out yourself and made it, bro, I, we got to stop doing that. I see so, so many people just out here throwing random people's names around. It's just like, bro, you wasn't there. <laughs> How you throwing people's names around you wasn't there? You can't go based off just stuff like that. When, when these people are coming out, these people are coming out saying stuff that was there. That was there. I'm not taking the word of nobody online that wasn't there. I'm not. If you weren't there, I'm not going off no rumors, innuendos, none of that shit. You wasn't there. How the hell you know what's going on and you weren't there? Make it make sense. Yeah, man, see, ticket, this one right here and this one right here, man, that don't mean nothing to me. That don't mean nothing to me. Was you there? Was you there? That's the question. Was you there? And that's why I told y'all this. People get demonized. People get demonized. Right? Who was there? I, well, look how many people demonized Gene Deal and he was there. Gene Deal was there. That's the thing, Jacqueline. You keep talking about on YouTube. Jacqueline, I ain't talking about YouTube. I'm talking about real life, baby. I'm not talking about YouTube. I'm talking about people who were actually there. I'm, talking about, I'm not talking about somebody said on YouTube. Anybody can get a YouTube channel, start a channel, and say the hell they want to say. I'm, talk, I'm talking about people who are actually there. So don't tell me nothing when somebody who was actually there saying something. Now nah, I take my decision on whether I believe them or not. Because they were actually there. Anybody that wasn't there, I ain't trying to hear a damn word they got to say. You weren't there. How the hell are you going to tell me you weren't there? Unless you locked in with somebody who was there. I hate that about our world. People always speculating and guessing they weren't there. Yeah, Ticket, did you hear about so-and-so? Yeah, I heard about that. What you hear about that? Oh, I heard about that from so -and Man, no, 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 no. I don't want to hear none of that. Yeah, man, because see, in the parties, man, they was doing this. Was you there? Nah, I wasn't there. So how the hell you know? Oh, nah, man, you know, I seen this conspiracy. Nah, man, uh-uh. Nah. <clears throat> Cassie came out and made allegations and filed a lawsuit. She was there. Gene Dino made all these allegations. He was there. Mark Curry said everything he said, he was there. Some people was there. Lil Rod came out and said he was there. Right? Oh man, you you a sellout. You a sellout. You turn your back on. How he turned, he was there. How the hell are you gonna get mad at somebody tell, tell them they capping and they were there and you weren't? Make it make sense. Make it make sense. So, yeah, they're going to attack Tor right now. They're going to attack Tor right now. This is what they're going to do. And make it seem like he capping and clout chasing. That's what they're going to do. 
oh yeah, he he cloud chasing ticket. He don't know. He just capping. Okay, go look it up. He's on he's on national TV last night talking about it. Go look. I don't have no reason to lie. Go look it up. It's all over the internet. It's all over the internet. Right? Oh man, y'all want to tear our black leaders down? They need to stop tearing themselves down. Have some morals, some ethics. When 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 comes leadership, comes much responsibility. With, with leadership, leadership comes with much responsibility. Leadership, All right? And I'm just telling y'all what it is. So yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think. And again, man, salute to everybody. You understand what I'm saying? That is subscribe to the channel and to my podcast. Hey, if y'all have if y'all subscribe to the podcast, let me know in the comment section right now. If y'all subscribe. Bro, we can get to 3,000 subscribers right now. We got 1,500 people here right now. All y'all got to do is click on this link right now. And y'all and y'all can go subscribe to the podcast right now. And we can get to 3,000 subs right now. We, we can get to 3,000 subs on my podcast show right now. All y'all got to do is hit this link. If y'all subscribe to the podcast, let me know in the comment section right now. Because I'm, I'm going to drop the link right now in, in the comments. We got more content coming out on the podcast show today. So, yeah, y'all make sure. They're going to link right there, y'all. Let me put this in the comments for y'all. They're going to link right there. They're going to link right there, y'all. I'm going to pin it at the top of the comments for y'all. There you go right there. Just put it in the chat. Y'all see I just put it in the chat. Go subscribe to the podcast right now. All these people that's in here, 1,500 people in here right now. We can pass 3,000 subs. I got over 2,500 subscribers on the podcast. We can get to that right now. We can get to that right now. Right? That's what we can do. Right now, we can get to it. Matter of fact, let me see what y'all talking about. Hold on. There you go, right there. Now it's pinned at the top of my comments. Y'all see it pinned at the top. So everybody click that link. And go subscribe right now. It'll take you about two minutes. Just to click that link and go subscribe. Say it right there. Click here to subscribe to my podcast. I pinned it at the top of the comments. Now let's see if we can get to 3,000 subscribers on the podcast show today. Let's see if we can pull that off. We had almost right at, what, 2,600? If I'm not mistaken, I think we had 2,600. Let me see right now where we at. Hold on. I'm about to see where we at right now. Where we at? Yeah, we at 2,596 subscribers right now. So let's see if we can get to 3,000. So that's another 400. If 400 of y'all... It's 1,300 of y'all right now listening. If 400 of y'all go subscribe, we'll be the 3,000 subscribers on the podcast. I'm going to put it on the screen and show y'all. I'm going to put it on the screen and show y'all, man. And I will be having more content on the show today. Y'all know I put content on my podcast show every single day that you guys have not heard. Uh, you won't hear anywhere else except for exclusive on my podcast. That's what we go in. Today I've been doing, uh, I did a longer video on here, but normally I do this on the podcast. Let me put it on the screen so y'all can see it. So y'all can see them subscribers, man, where we going with it. You know what I mean? There it go right there. Let me put this up on the screen for y'all. We saluting everybody that's showing love to what we doing. They're going to link right there. Y'all see it? That's how many subscribers we got. Let's get to 3,000, man. Click that link in the chat. Y'all go right now and subscribe to the podcast, man. There you go. Let's get it to 3,000. 
and then we go on to four. And then after four, we go on to five. You feel me? That's a fact. That's if y'all standing with what I'm what I'm what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? If you standing with me on, re on real time, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Adambi, salute. I'll see you in the comments. Salute. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Peace.